The big Labor Day weekend is just ahead and it's not too late to plan a getaway. Joining us now is travel expert Janine Tornator. She's also the founder of the Outside Insider. Hey, you are in our kind of town. Good to see you in Chicago. We're having a fantastic summer here. Yes, I'm actually at the Z Bar Terrace here at the beautiful Peninsula Hotel, uh, right on the magnificent mile. You can see the iconic water tower behind me, the John Hancock building. And this is really one of my favorite times of year to visit a city like Chicago. Um, here, you're going to find some of the best weather in September. Everything is still in full swing in the city, whether you want to go on the river walk, you want to do a kayak or a architecture boat tour on the Chicago River. Millennium Park still has its interactive fountains open, public art, the rock climbing wall. Of course, you have the great Lincoln Park Zoo, uh, beaches, bike trails. You know, there's so much going on in the city. It's a great time to visit. One thing I also tell folks when you're visiting big city like Chicago is don't forget to get outside the city and visit more of the region. Just a couple hours from Chicago, you have great places like Starved Rock State Park, 13 miles of hiking trails. This sits in the Illinois River Valley, so you have panoramic views over the bluffs, great waterfalls. Also, just a couple hours from Chicago, you have one of my favorite small towns in the Midwest, Galena, Illinois. They have a main street that was named one of the most um, beautiful main streets in America. Boutiques, wineries here, orchards, um, great bed and breakfast, even tree houses that you can stay in. So this is one of my picks for an easy Labor Day or even into fall escape. Um, I've also heard a lot of people talking about still wanting to get away for those beach escapes. Uh, so my next picks, if you're thinking beaches, is to think a little outside the box and think about Texas. Texas has over 350 miles miles of shoreline. So many great little quaint beach destinations. A couple of them that are on my list. Kima, which is in Galveston Bay. This is just 40 minutes from downtown Houston. Here you have a fantastic classic boardwalk experience where you have great dining, rides, um, games. They have festivals and great live music here. It's also known for its boating and sailing in Kima. Um, another great one to put on your list is Port Aransas. This is just outside of Corpus Christi. It's 18 miles of beautiful, wide open beaches. It's actually also the fishing capital of Texas. So if you like fishing, this this is the place to go. Great restaurants that will cook your catch. Just one of those places with a great slower pace. And then also don't discount somewhere like South Padre Island. We always think of it for spring break. Now is the time to take the family when it's really quiet. There's great entertainment, great activities happening all the way through the fall and winter. So Texas can be a fantastic beach destination. Is it time to start booking for the holidays? Yeah, now is the time to start planning your holiday travel. If you're planning to travel over that busy Thanksgiving weekend, you want to book your flights now. If you find a price that you're comfortable with, snag it before demand starts to go up for that busy holiday weekend. If you're thinking about Christmas and New Year's, the sweet spot's really mid-September through early October October to book those flights. And then international travel, which is on a lot of people's list, you should be looking at those flights in early September. Now, another segment that's really big is the cruise industry. In fact, Carnival Cruise Line said the ships are pretty full for the rest of this year in 2023. They've been seeing booking volumes that are reaching all-time highs. So if you're looking at a cruise in 2024, this is really when you should be booking. They even have cruises they're booking as far out as 2025 already. The good news is that they have introduced a new ship out of the port of New York City, the Venezia, this summer. They have a new ship coming in Galveston, the Jubilee, in December, and yet another ship that they're going to be launching next year. So that's that's going to increase capacity on their ships for travelers by 22% once all three of those new ships are out and going. So that's great news. But certainly, if you're looking at those 2024 trips for cruising, you need to be booking now. Thank you, Janine. Good to see you in the Windy City. Great to talk to you, Angie. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.